In a stunning turn of events, the legendary Voyager 1 spacecraft experienced an unexpected halt after receiving a mysterious signal from a distant, unidentified star. No man-made vehicle has ventured as deep into the cosmos as NASA's Voyager 1, which has been on its celestial journey for an impressive 45 years. It's poised to continue its mission for a few more years until its power supply dwindles. Launched in 1977 with the initial goal of studying Jupiter and Saturn, this probe has since delved into uncharted territories, sparking our collective curiosity about what lies beyond our solar system. The Voyager mission has been sending back invaluable data for longer than any other spacecraft, now extending its reach beyond the confines of our solar system. However, in the summer of 2023, the probe started transmitting signals that left NASA's brilliant engineers baffled. These messages were unlike any received before, given that the spacecraft had been journeying beyond the heliosphere for over a decade. Scientists soon realized that this was a response from an unknown star within our own galaxy. The scientific community is abuzz with excitement and trepidation, for this signal is a reply to a message sent a quarter of a century ago. In the wake of this transmission, Voyager 1 began exhibiting peculiar behavior. What could be the cause of this unexpected conduct from the long-serving probe, and what might it be trying to communicate to us? Scientists posit that we are now in receipt of responses to our earlier signals. This monumental event could very well mark our first contact with a genuine extraterrestrial message. Let's delve into what we've just heard and how the Voyager spacecraft achieved this extraordinary milestone. Few narratives in the annals of space exploration captivate and inspire like that of NASA's Voyager 1. It serves as a testament to the dreams and aspirations that gripped the world during the transformative decades of the 1960s and 70s, when humanity set its gaze upon the cosmos. Voyager 1 emerged as a trailblazer embarking on a remarkable odyssey through our solar system. In 1972, engineers unveiled a spacecraft that would forever alter our understanding of celestial navigation. This extraordinary creation featured a three-axis stabilization system guided by astronomical coordinates and a gyroscope. This innovation was crucial in maintaining the precise alignment of the high-gain antennas, ensuring seamless communication with Earth. Although Voyager 2 was launched before Voyager 1, the latter, thanks to a more direct route, exited the asteroid belt ahead of its counterpart. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 overtook Voyager 2. Its mission at Jupiter commenced in April 1978, when it was approximately 165 million miles from the gas giant. By January 1979, Images relayed back revealed Jupiter's atmosphere to be more turbulent than during the earlier Pioneer flybys. During its passage by Jupiter, the spacecraft provided unprecedented views of its moons, including Amalthea, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Additionally, two new moons, Thebe and Metis, were discovered. Of particular note was Io, a world painted in striking shades of yellow, orange, and brown, featuring at least eight active volcanoes spewing material into space. Having concluded its exploration of Jupiter, Voyager 1 altered its trajectory in April 1979 to prepare for Saturn. Then, on October 10, 1979, another adjustment was made to avoid a collision with Saturn's moon, Titan. Upon reaching Saturn in November 1979, the encounter proved as astonishing as the preceding one. Voyager 1 unearthed five previously undiscovered moons orbiting Saturn. These moons, based on available data, appeared to be predominantly composed of water ice. Titan, in particular, stood out as a target of great interest. Atmospheric readings hinted at the possibility of liquid on its surface, potentially marking it as the first body, aside from Earth, in the solar system where such a phenomenon might exist. Following its rendezvous with Saturn, Voyager 1 began its departure from the solar system at a brisk pace, hurtling about 3.5 astronomical units each year, or roughly 325 million miles. Its trajectory veered at an angle of 35 degrees above the ecliptic plane, 
a departure from the path of nearby stars. Regrettably, due to the specifics of its Titan flyby, the spacecraft wasn't directed towards Uranus and Neptune. In a momentous occasion on a special day in 1990, Voyager 1 executed a breathtaking maneuver. It turned its cameras homeward, capturing images of the Sun and our home planet. This marked the very first instance of witnessing our solar system from an external vantage point. At this juncture, Voyager was positioned an astounding 40 astronomical units from the Sun, equivalent to roughly 3.7 billion miles. From these images, scientists crafted a truly extraordinary creation, the pale blue dot. This iconic image, made famous by the eminent scientist Carl Sagan, a member of the Voyager team and an educator at Cornell University, continues to inspire people worldwide, even in his absence. This special portrait is known as the Solar System Family Portrait, omitting only Mercury and Mars due to their positions relative to the spacecraft. These images represented the culmination of 67,000 captures by the two Voyager probes. Subsequent to this, NASA deactivated the cameras on the Voyager spacecraft to conserve power and memory for their interstellar voyage. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 secured its place as the most distant human-made object in existence. At a distance of 69.4 astronomical units from the Sun, it surpassed Pioneer 10. Then, on December 16, 2004, Voyager scientists revealed that Voyager 1 had recorded markedly high values for the magnetic field intensity at a distance of 94 AU. This signified its arrival at the termination shock and entry into the helio sheath. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 achieved an unprecedented milestone. It became the first spacecraft to breach the heliosphere and venture into interstellar space. In this new realm, Voyager 1 unraveled unexpected mysteries of the interstellar medium, even capturing the faint hum of this cosmic expanse. However, following this breakthrough, the spacecraft faced intermittent communication challenges with NASA. Recently, scientists have posited that Voyager the 1st of May soon receive a response from a distant solar system. A radio wave transmission dispatched by NASA 25 years ago was expected to confirm the connection, and it's believed that this signal has now reached the nearest star. A team of researchers at the University of California suggests that they may have already received a response from potential extraterrestrial life, which could reach Earth as early as 2029. These scientists employed signals directed towards Voyager 1, Voyager 2, Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons to map their potential spread across the cosmos. According to their findings, transmissions to Voyager 1, Pioneer 10, and Pioneer 11 have already made contact with at least one star. In fact, Voyager 1's transmissions have reached two objects, both discovered in 2007. By 2336, it's projected that Voyager 1's transmission will reach a staggering 272 neighboring stars. Researchers estimate that extraterrestrial beings may respond by 2033. However, some scientists posit that if aliens possess more advanced communication technology, they might, 